I want to make two quick comments. The first one relates to um, enhanced cooperation. As some of you may know, there has been a very interesting discussion during the Commission on Science and Technology for Development meeting in May in Geneva. And this resulted in a resolution that was sent to ECOSOC uh, and endorsed in ECOSOC in July that asked the Secretary General of the UN to organize consultations on enhanced cooperation on a multi-stakeholder basis. I think this is a very important step forward because until now, there has been a strong disagreement on what exactly enhanced cooperation meant, whether it was a process that was supposed to deal only with governments and what they were supposed to do on their own, or whether it was something about the interaction of different governments with the other stakeholders. In previous IGFs, I had the opportunity to explain that, in our view, the term enhanced cooperation in the various paragraphs, 61, 70, 71, of the uh, Tunis agenda, actually refer to this very specific element in the definition of internet governance, which is the words in their respective roles. The reality and the substance of enhanced cooperation discussion is to determine under which conditions the different stakeholders have a responsibility in the different stages of elaboration of a regime, in the different venues and structures where they participate, and depending on the different topics. So I'm looking forward to the uh, exchanges and consultations by the uh, Secretary General of the UN. The second point I want to make, because I will unfortunately have to um, moderate the session uh, that overlaps with this one, is on the topic of the critical internet resources. We all know that there is an interesting double deadline uh, at the end of 2011 and at the end of 2012 regarding the IANA contract and the um, cooperative agreement between the United States government and uh, very sign for 2012. These are two different contracts. What I want to share here to help move the discussion forward is that we believe very strongly that as long as the discussion on the management of the root server system and the oversight, if we call it that way, as long as the discussion is framed in the terms of the unilateral control of one government over the critical internet resource of the internet, we will not be able to have a constructive discussion. And the way we see it is that the subject and the challenge we have is to find a common wording for the problem we want to address. And the way we understand it is that we all have a common challenge and a common objective which is to ensure the integrity of the root zone file. And what we mean by the integrity of the root zone file is that we all want to make sure that no one, voluntarily or involuntarily, can tamper with the root zone file. And once we agree that this is a common interest for all governments, for all stakeholders, then we can begin to discuss whether there is a possibility to go even further than the current arrangement. But I want to say very publicly and very clearly that we do understand that no evolution towards a better internationalization of this mechanism can be achieved if on the side of the United States, which is fulfilling this function at the moment, there is not the guarantee that the evolution will ensure the same level of protection and security that the current system provides. So, in conclusion, I wanted just to frame this debate because this is the very good benefit of the Internet Governance Forum, to, be, to attempt to find a common formulation for the problem instead of pitting one group of actor versus another group of actors, or one specific one in this case. And I hope this will help the discussion.